was going to turn into 115. This nigga about to be a popsicle in this bitch. Hold on. Five again. Ow, like ow, I'm back in high school. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow. The wave is back. The yeah, wave man, is it's back. It's a different day. It's episode 58. And you know what I'm my saying? My boy Max got a joint out, man. You know, the wavy boys is back. We back. Coke, you man. Know what I'm we back. We back. Been a little out. wild. My fault about that, y'all. You know what I mean? A little Two unexpected weeks. things happen. You know, but sometimes you need that. Um, that's self time and then we recuperate, you know what I mean? That's a fact. So the technical difficulty that happened was sort of like a blessing in disguise, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got that second win. Mm-hmm. And did what we got to do and it's now a, we It's back. a time for evaluation. Yeah, that's a fact. But that opening track to uh, kick off episode 58 was uh, Hollywood Impossible. What 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 um what project that's off? Who's that? It's Coke Wave 4, man. Max <laughs> V in French Montana. <laughs> The wave is back, Silver wave Surfer. Back. Silver Surfer. You hear what I'm saying? It's, it's feeling like. That shit got me feeling like I'm like, dead back in high school, bro. Yeah, right. That's a fact. That's a big fact. Word. Yeah, so they dropped a. Uh, it was nine nine tracks. Fire. Fire. Fire, man. Yeah. I love that shit. I love that shit. I love to see him home because people said that it was impossible. 
It was impossible. That's the track just referenced, but you know. I you said, gotta, I always knew he was coming home, though. Well. I mean, because <clears throat> if you was a fan of a Bigger Val and you just was in tune, you know his spirit, his energy, you can't keep that cage, man. Yeah. I ain't hearing that. You can't that's keep that lot. And that situation, like, I, it was a you know, we, yeah, we don't know the full details. And niggas was, it was dead, a little sketchy. But it, was, it sounded a little sketchy, everything that you happened. You put some so. money behind it, you could get up out of there. Yeah. You know, some real money behind that. You could get things changed, as you evidently see. And um, I don't know if he's out on, on the streets yet, but I don't know, shit. That, that ain't, that ain't sound, if that's him over the phone, this is a little different than Sean. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, this, this sounds hell way yeah. different. But from what we hearing is he's in the halfway house or he's, he's like, somewhere yeah, home, you know what I mean? Like, he's not in prison no more. Yeah, he's So, somewhere. hopefully he got, um, hopefully he got access to studio. Well, French, you know, French got him. You know, French got yeah, him. Yeah, so. they said his man pulled up on French in L.A. Mm-hmm. and played some shit that he had. Some of the some of those uh, notes, <coughs> audio, or whatever. Played some of that shit in L.A. for French. Yeah. Nigga said French locked down his whole schedule. Said we getting a project getting done a project right project now. In a week. Ten days ago, bro. Ten days. Just like, well, we're going to get into some new music because, you know, um, now that we are later into the year, a mm-hmm. little later into the year, we into almost we in the seventh. This the quarter yeah. that counts. Yeah, now now it, it's 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 uh, changed from when we was growing up, but this the quarter that counts. Yeah, it's, right? it's like the third quarter is like the yeah, fourth going quarter into now. the yeah. So, but um, a lot of music, a lot of good music been dropping. Yeah, but man. Just to keep talking about um, Max, that was just out the blue. That that, that, the that blue. came out yesterday. And that's on title and oh, I didn't get it on title. I got I had to go download that piff. <laughs> they, I'm telling you, they taking it back. You hear that? He had to go to that piff, like because I, I tried to look for it on um Spotify. It's on like on Audio Mac and um that piff. That's why I said that's the song we kicking off with because it, nice. it ain't on no streaming service like that. They back. I like that. Yeah, man. so I had to go, you know, download that pip, sign back in. And I shit. used to be in the crib, and Godly used to be playing Coke Boys. I used to be like, what the Son, fuck? The <laughs> Mac wave, and cheese. The and wave was that. real. Coke yeah, wave? It was, uh, yeah, it was real. And he was the one that really was like, the one like the face of it you know what I'm saying yeah um and they like feel, like bro. I was saying before we, we started the show where the game is now and where it's been is is it was, it's set up for Max like his style his personality yeah. imagine Max going live on yeah. Instagram yeah you know it's what almost like he set that shit off like, like yeah you know like you got your Kanye's and ones like that that kicked off that type of trend but he was the one that kind of like perfected it and was like really and doing on some hood shit and he yeah he was the hood one yeah doing on some hood shit Max is Max is motherfucking Jesus Christ to some people out here (laughs) (laughs) like for real like I don't know if people really know this he's been locked up 10 years so a lot of these young kids they might not be too in tune unless they got an older brother or some cousins that was in tune with Max but Somebody um, like us, you know what I mean? You listen to these nine tracks. I played a few of them in here. Mm-hmm. It's oh, my son didn't make the cut. I, I not today. You couldn't find him. He's still on the board. Okay. I couldn't find him. We was on a countdown. <laughs> He's still on the board. That's the purpose. But um, yeah, he this the music that's being created now is set up for him, bro. Hooks. Yeah. Uh, melodies Two verses you know Two I mean? verses What? Quick. You serious? Bing, bang, bang. <laughs> Max about to come back And kill this yeah, shit Yeah he gonna fit seamlessly Into what's going on right now So it's he not even Kill this shit him. Don't be surprised You see him win the Grammys In two years <laughs> He gonna get some BET awards first baby <laughs> Yeah immediate, Immediately so the, That's the main award I don't care what nobody yeah. think man. BET awards the shit I ain't feeling them right now though But the we last get into one was Alright this last one was pretty good. It and was it, decent. It ain't like about it. performances or none of that. <clears throat> well, yeah, like you want tra- like to transition. Like it, I mean, we could stay. We could stay it, on this topic because you know what I mean. But even like with go the Nipsey Hussle Wave thing, four. yeah, this this is why I, yeah, I'm not like, fucking with them right now. Like you had him on. You he wasn't even on the main stage last year. And his album was out for like a year already. For half a yeah, half a year. Yeah, like. 
So Go ahead get, Give your piece on that Cause that's what you wanted to speak on right? Yeah I ain't wanna talk about None of the performances and, uh, Or Oh this was a, a good one this year Fuck that Yeah Fuck that Life Why, is trash, now, now you give him the humanitarian award. When he See, now, that, he opened up back that what was that back that ninety? That's the, that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. And like a couple years ago, he opened up his store. What two thousand ten? No, thirteen, eleven, twelve. I think. Sorry. Still like seven, yeah. eight years. <laughs> Come on, bro. You should have been. You should have been. Um, I just. I didn't. It didn't uh, sit right with me, bro. Yeah, because his only highlight for that for that award show last year was slapping somebody, and it's like. Yeah, that's what people why knew him that for. Happen? Yeah. I, we say it a lot, and we said it a lot on the, on our show. Give people the flowers while they're still here, man. Yeah. All last year we was bigging that nigga up, bro. Yeah, and, and since we started, me. and since we started, go y'all could go to Spotify, Anchor. Radio Public Google Podcast Apple Podcast We did right. You know what I mean um, But ever since we started everywhere. um Uploading them The first episode We was talking about Nipsey Fifth episode We talking about Nipsey Like we was Constantly talking about him So it's not like We and trying to prove his, something It's just, just like Yeah it's everything yeah, You know what I mean bro. So Cause I was just watching uh, Master P on The Breakfast, Breakfast Club, Club And he was talking about him because, yeah. you know, like you said, he gave Master P his flowers. But like, he I, loved Yeah, him. I expect P to talk about him because him and Nip was really building. And and you knew this if you was in tune with Nip before he died, bro. Mm-hmm. If you, you knew that. That's why him, that's why whole fuck with him and supported the, the Crenshaw shit. Yeah, he was Because really he was, he was, on that he was emulating... He what they did before him and putting it into his ideas and and how he wanted to grow. Yeah, yeah. So I expected Peter to to give him. The, I ain't even. I think yeah. I seen that yesterday. I watched this shit yesterday. The Master P interview. Oh yeah. I ain't even finished it. Interview. But when I got to that part, I, I was like, you were the first fucking person to say that. First person. Mm-hmm. That's why I fuck. You know, we always loved Master P. We always fucked with Master P, especially when he had Cam and them on that track. You know what I mean? So it's I, like I just I, like but, my, um, my whole thing was, why did you give it to him? For the look, of course. Yeah, you know, for that's the look. Trash. Yeah, man. that's kind of trash. Hopefully, it was genuine. I don't want. I don't want. We don't want to sit. I don't want to sit here because we. I always sit here and say we don't. We don't say nothing concrete. We just giving our opinions. You know what I'm saying? All right, Notch. Nipsey Hussle still alive, right? Mm-hmm. This very moment, he, moment he get that humanitarian award two weeks ago, whatever it was. I don't think so. You don't think I don't so, even right? think people listening to him how, how they listening to him now. If you know what I'm saying? Then it's not genuine. Yeah. It's not genuine. Yeah. You his his death woke you up. To like, oh shit, we missed out on this. Yeah, you stupid motherfuckers. Everybody wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. You know what I mean? So now that, that that's what pissed me off. I was ignoring the, the fact of like everybody's a Nipsey fan now, and and now his album is like quadruple platinum. When it was only gold. You know what I'm saying? Now niggas is all Nipsey memes. Yeah, and and, and, and and niggas fuck with nips and, and it's marathon flags and shit. And like now I'm tight. Like I feel like niggas is violating him. Just like if that was you, I feel like niggas is violating now. Like you trying to, <laughs> like you trying the, to, attach. like if the other, like if other, like if other people than the certain people that come to the crib to check me, yeah, was like damn, Notch was it? <laughs> I'm knocking niggas the fuck out now, bro. Like. <laughs> His, so. That's what people was talking about too, the game and all that. Like back in the days, like I feel like, like they fit, they said they feel like people just taking pictures of people. So when that sh- something like that happened, it's like, damn, I was cool with them. Yeah, <laughs> that was my man. Yeah, that's, that's not. Why I don't cool. take pictures with nobody. Yeah, that's not cool. That's nobody, cool. nobody, fuck y'all. But what you thought about the BET Awards overall? <sighs> you know, we got to get into all this shit because we was back that we was a little late. I'm gonna tell you this. I w- <laughs> Hopefully, hold on before you go into that. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the compilation video that we put up. That's part yeah. one. We'll have a part two coming out soon. We just like to put things like that together just to show y'all that we working. You know what I mean? So hopefully y'all enjoy that. Go check that out. Go ahead, cool. Um, I wasn't mad at it this year. It was actually it was actually decent. A good show. Yeah. And I don't watch award shows, but I watch it because I'm like we gonna talk about it on the show. So yeah, now we gotta watch shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was cool. It was it was nice. It was nice. I enjoyed the people actually. Fuego. People yeah. actually was there. You know, at BT Awards, they'd be like, "So and so won." They'd be like, "But they're not here." They a, couple, the a couple of them like left halfway, or mm -hmm. was it, wasn't there like Ti and Snoop? Because what's the name? Um, Mike Epps had his wedding that day. Yeah, that day. Yeah. So he cool like, like like Ti and Snoop. Those are his friends. Those are his people. We know how he moved. Yeah. <laughs> So um, it was cool. I, I liked it. It was just that Nipsey shit just rubbed me the wrong way, bro. Yeah. I don't like shit like that. <laughs> they made the red carpet blue. Yeah, that was cool though. But that was when cool. you think I mean, about the, the, it though, um, like when they celebrated him, when they people came out, yeah, that was cool because YG came out with his people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's always cool. The tributes is always cool. But, but humanitarian, giving bro. Giving him awards and shit when he died, like, come on, bro. What about the people that that are that are still here that and that are doing shit. that are that been doing shit for years? You know what I'm saying? Why not give it to them? You missed your chance to give you it to them. Missed your chance for him. He passed away. Let him rest. You know what I mean? Let him do his. He know what he did. You know what I mean? So that shit was whack. <laughs> so the performances was cool, but that whole Nipsey shit just made it whack to me. Yeah, I don't like that. But um. But yeah, a lot of music, stick to music A lot like of that. music dropped man um, Chris Brown album was hard Cause we not gonna dive yeah. deep into it But Chris Al Brown Chris album Brown, Fire I, Yo But he be dropping like Now that he owns Masters He dropping like 40 he tracks He can do what he want bro <laughs> They got like 32 tracks on that shit Yeah he got like 34 I'm up to like track 11 yeah, I'm still up to like track 12 or something like But I think that's cool Cause I don't have to rush through it you know what I'm saying? I like to listen to albums and That music gives you like, a chance to move at your own pace. Right. I like to listen to music like 12 track. You know what I'm saying? 12 tracks. If it's something like that, you could be like, bang, bang. Yeah, I could listen to 12 tracks for about... Part one, part because two. Because I, I digest music. I don't just be like, I like this. I'm, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. Some shit I might hear the first time and be like, I don't like that. Because the track before it was fire. Yeah. So I'm like, uh... But I might hear it a few times and be like, nah, this is cool. It's cool. Because out cool. of 34 tracks, you're not going to fall in love with all of nah, them. Nah, but you but might you gonna like... you're going to find your 12 that you like. I don't like how people just discard music. Like, it's not my my type of... I don't like that. It ain't my melody in it. Yeah. Or still hang certain stuff over artists' heads. Like, yeah, because... People don't fuck with Chris Brown because of, you know, the thing that he did with Rihanna and all that. And I, I respect it and I understand it. But let's not take away from his art. He's still doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if he never had that case, people would be looking at him still in the trajectory of Michael Jackson. Because he is. You know what I mean? Because he's still doing that. Yeah. I, I love Chris Brown. We been The first time we saw him, he was about 14, 15. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and it's like he went through all that bullshit, and then he had his daughter and realized, like, yo, you know what I mean? That opened his mind to shit. And now he's drop he's back to dropping good, great music. I like that he owns his masters. Yeah. So we get to hear the music that he, he wants, wants to, to create. Like, I love that shit. Like even, like, even, like, a Beyonce. Like, I like the music she makes now mm -hmm. because she's doing what she wants, wants to do. do. Yeah. It's not that cookie cutter shit, yeah. that halo and, you and all know that. When it's, you know it's it. It's cookie cutter. It's, it's the factory base. Like, let's just put if this If I up. were a boy. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. If you, if you were a boy. Yo, that's like the first ask score. That's like the first compliment I gave Beyonce ever. <laughs> I don't really fuck with her too much, but I... I like I like the way she moves now, you know what I mean? Cause she it seems like she's real independent. You know what I mean? And I like that. And then you got the you got the guard next to you, so <laughs> but people will look at that different. People will look at that like he got her next to him, you know what I mm. mean? But I look at it like, you know, their team, whatever. What else? What other music? Uh what I was just talking about. You know, I'll blank sometime. What album was that I just mentioned? We was talking about Chris Brown right there. Oh yeah, you're talking about Indigo. I said, Indigo. Yeah, because I said that was hard because that shit is long, so we don't want to... Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I'm going to get... You want to dive into, like, what just ha happened or you want to talk about, like, 
last week and shit because we didn't get to speak about the, the butcher Benny. Benny the Butcher, BSF, Big BSF gang. We ain't you know talk about uh, the plugs we I met. Talk about the plugs I met because that's when we was gonna do last week. Oh shit! I went and scraped up the money and double taped up the money. What you got to say about that? What you got to say about Classic. the plugs? Classic. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I got the hat on, man. Big Rapping, B- we went to the Big show. Y'all yeah, know we went to uh, Almighty Tour. Like, like back when 2010, when Cole put me on the K dot, and we fell in love with TDE. He put me on the Benny the Butcher. I'm falling in love with Big BSF Griselda. Griselda you know what I'm saying? Nigga, fuck niggas talking about Black Soprano family. Excuse me, I'm eating. A, I ain't gonna say that. Oh, I'm getting my protein. <laughs> Yo, Mike, come get your man. <laughs> he on camera, wildin'. True, but um, I love that. I love that. Um, I love that album because he told us, "Y'all <laughs> sick about it. me rapping about, about the drugs plug, I stretch." I stretch. I'ma write a whole oh, album, album about, about the, the plugs, plugs I, met. I met. So his next album was called The Plugs I Met. So I respect it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you did it. And, um, if you tell me you going to do said, do it, man. We got to do this. Oh, man. I don't know. We might have to postpone it, man. We we doing talk about that book bag shit. The book bag joint? We got to. Now we got. Let's no, try, to, just, just let's try to do it privately behind the scenes. Set up a paper. Yeah, we talk that. to our friends. And yeah. We, we going to get that. We're going to get that. We got that. With the plugs I met. With the plugs I met. Track one, fire. Track two, fire. Track three, fire. Track five, fire. Six, seven, fire. All of them is fire. Go ahead. And it's Features seven, is fire. It's seven tracks, man. And I love it. I, you know how I feel about seven tracks. I was just tracks. listening to it coming here. You know how I feel about seven tracks. I hate seven tracks. Push Your T album was fire. But yeah. we was like, damn, seven tracks, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, just a little taste, you know what I mean? Just a little, <laughs> just a little, little sound. <laughs> Taste. That's the plug. If you I'm like, at. if you like head nodding when you're listening to, to your music, house. if you like head nodding listening to your music, your neck gonna break, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, man. How, when that came out? Uh, April. I mean, I mean, no, May, late June. May, late June. My fault. We in July. Like June 27th. Or something yeah, like that. it's been like two, almost two, three weeks. Right now. Yo, that, that's all I've really been listening to. June 21st. And we in July 10th. I fuck with it. I, I really fuck with it. I hope, I hope you guys go out there and listen to it because I know that maybe sometimes y'all pick up to the shit that we saying and y'all go and listen to something. He got, he got, old, he got an old for Jada Kiss verse on there. He got a Jada Kiss verse on there. Jada got super nasty Fire. on the track. He got Black Thought on there. He got uh, 38 Special. 38 Special. 38 special That's another nigga To my get into pen it My moving man. like my, my Like son, I'm improving I delivered I got Def a J. lamb And a <laughs> stick Like I'm fresh, fresh out, out the, the Bible. Bible 
That's one of the hardest Y'all bars. Don't go there. I'm in That's a like fast Sunday car, school. chasing after rivals. Mm. I got a lamb and a stick, like, like I'm, I'm fresh, fresh out the, the Bible. Fire, fire. But yeah, that album is good too. Chris Brown album is good too. Oh, uh, stick, stick it with Griselda. Um, Fly God is West an amazing God. God. Fly, that's my shit right there too, nigga. <laughs> Fly God. Classic. Is, yo. All my niggas do is classic yo, all shit. All they do is drop yeah, classic shit. This is why I be shit. telling people, get in tune with Griselda Records, man. Buffalo, New York. New niggas Buffalo, is, man. The king of New York resides Buffalo, in Buffalo. Buffalo where it's cold in summer. <laughs> all we know is hustling. Lower numbers than the <laughs> Choa brothers. Yo, Benny said... Niggas said I stabbed it in the pot so many times. They, they thought, thought OJ, OJ did it. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, them niggas is nice. Don't get us talking about them. Yo, it's balls on top of balls on top of balls with a Z at the end. Griselda, bitch. Yo, let me get fuck out. Break um, his shit down. Fly God is an amazing God. He, you know how when we heard Action Bronson, it's like, yo, that's Ghostface. Like that nigga sounding like Ghost. That's the chef. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. That's the chef. That's Ray Corn. He 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 a mix he a mixture of both of them to me. Yeah. He a mixture of both of them. He do that talk like you know we got them aqua water the wallabies. You know what I'm saying? And then nasty, when he bro. spit, he sound like ghost. Yeah, yeah I hear. I see what you. Then he he talk that gritty shit like like the chef, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because he, he you know he, he got the intro. He got him on the intro, and he basically giving him not, uh, pause, giving him game, bro. He like, yo, you know, <laughs> you should, you, y'all holding it down, but yo, let me talk to you, man. Don't love nobody more than they love you. I'm like, this is why I love the woo, bro. <laughs> Don't love nobody more than you love you. <laughs> you, you got that's to, a gem for you your gotta, crown, You got to think of that. Yeah, you got to be like, damn, I do be showing niggas love. I don't even go to the nails to get a manicure for myself. <laughs> Whoa, so you know that's what I'm saying? So, um, Fly God is amazing, uh, amazing God. That that project is dope. Classic. He 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 more than a rapper. He's a um, he's a Yo, Fuego. He's a he's a um producer. He's a he got that air, Sorry. bro. He got <laughs> he got that air. You know what I'm saying? He know Man, how to put yeah. a project together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, like don't, he don't rap the best out of them three. But he got bars, though. But he got... Oh, yeah. yeah. Cause he'll, he's, he, he got bars, He used bro. that wrestling, those and wrestling and schemes and shit. The, the name of his songs is fucking wrestlers. <laughs> Dean Malico, Batista, and... <laughs> <laughs> fucking the fourth rope. <laughs> Come on, that bro. The crazy. fourth rope? My nigga... That's all he do. That shit sound like a wrestling podcast. It, that's, that's, <laughs> that's all West Side do. Yo, I want to start a wrestling podcast. I ain't going to hold you. I like wrestling. So, stuff. um, that, that's a dope project, too. The art is amazing. I, I clicked the album um, on my shuffle and I put it on shuffle just because of the art. That yeah. shit is so dope. Yeah. I made a Griselda, pl- uh, before we move to a, a next, another album, I made a Griselda playlist on Tidal. Yeah, I have 168 songs from all three of them. And I ain't even put all West Side albums in my shit. That's how you know niggas be working, man. I Son, love that. The niggas drop, like, yo, last year, West Side dropped about four projects, bro. Yeah. Last year, he I dropped was like looking four through shit on um, projects, Spotify. Bro. I was looking through um, this shit. Conway dropped like two. I think he dropped two and he dropped he on his he on his third one. His third one is coming up. Yeah. Benny about to come out with another joint. That's this was just like, yo, I told you I was Tana gonna do talk. it. What else he got? He got Tanner He got Tanner Talk, yes. uh Butcher on Steroids, Seventeen Bullets, and um Friend of a Friend. Five. Five friend. projects so far. Friend of a friend. Then he got some shit with thirty eight special. Who we ain't even gonna talk about because that nigga balls is just ridiculous. But um, yeah, Westside got it. He got a banger, man. That's a fact. Classic. Then I was uh. Bandana time. Get to bandana. 
Did you listen what to the whole shit? Yeah, get the bandana. Cause yeah, I, wanna, I, I wanna. got. I got past. Yeah, I got. I think I'm almost towards the end. What you think? Before I give my opinion on it, uh, for the people who don't know, we talk about Freddie Gibbs. That's part two, right? What this? Oh, this is the second project that they work together on. They worked together before, but yeah, it's not part. It's not no, a part. It's, it's just an original part. project. Yeah. Uh, I, I like, Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib. I Bandana. love. They are um, match made in heaven. Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib, and I'm saying that because Make I also it last just, um, forever. I'm saying that because I also watched the. Um, I watched the interview on Hot 97 today. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs was on there. He was. He cried, right? He cried, bro. Because the that that is um. The conversation is is real genuine because uh, Peter Rosenberg fucks with him. Yeah, he really fucks with him. So for him to be in that situation that he was in last year, yeah, and we always <laughs> we gonna keep saying this because we genuinely fuck with niggas. We always listen to Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, Fred, this nigga's from Gary, Indiana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you get out of there spitting. You nice. I don't know. What was the name nothing. of that? That first album we was listening to, that cold, cold heart, some you some know shit. I don't know with me. the with the cartoon cover, remember? Yeah. All his artwork is always fire. That fine. shit was. God but he damn, spit. what year was that? That's like early 2010s, 11, 12, some shit like I've been that. Listening to these niggas. These niggas be in the game for a while, and they don't get the recognition that they deserve That's until sad. they get until they get. A sex charge on them, or they get murdered, or they, or they, or get, they get fuck with one of these Kardashians. You know what I'm saying? But if he had, we not gonna talk about. It. If he had rainbow hair, he'd be Billboard charts. You know what I'm saying? So Freddie, Freddie Gibbs is one of the dopest niggas of his generation, bro. Yeah, he he he's like this generation's like I'll say like a Ti or something like that. You know what I'm saying? He fall in that, that, yeah, he fall in that lane where they spitting that real shit, but they also lyricists. And they about some. Yeah, and they can tell stories and shit like that. And you know what I mean? I, I fuck with Freddie Gibbs. Well, I fuck with Bandana. I like the visuals that he put out so far, um, mm-hmm. some of the videos that he got. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> but I fuck with Mad Lib a lot. Too. Mad Lib is fucking dope. That nigga's a genius. Something's wrong with him. You know why? You know why? Because everything he do is dope. And it's not no simple shit, But he shit, said his bro. teacher in that in that interview, he said his teacher is Pete Rock, so. And you got to remember, he worked with Jay Diller. Like, <laughs> that's that's history right there. You know I mean? don't know how niggas is not working with Madlib. He, and I'm going to say it, he might be the best producer right now, bro. Um... Yeah, I don't know. You know why I say that? Cause I I seen him do a few projects, <laughs> like like by himself with artists. Uh-huh. It's just, just a whole project, and the shit is dope. I bro. mean, they haven't been consistent, but heat makers ain't make some noise with that Jim Jones yeah. album. Yeah, but they ain't comparing. They not Mad Lib, yeah, they not dropping as much as he does. I guess. Yo, um, you want to know when we go to concert? Alchemist. When, when we go to concert, Alchemist. Keep it. Jackson yeah. Bronson, BSF, he's yeah, always out there. He's but nice. when niggas say, yo, I got Mad Lib on the album, that shit changes everything. In interviews, you see it in the concerts, bro. Yeah, because he's more of a historian. He, He's a legend. He's yeah, a legend. bro. He's but a legend. Right? His, what he does, like, he creates a soundtrack for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that bandana shit. I think this gives best project. Yeah, and that says a lot, bro. That says a lot because he got some fire. Cold day in hell, cold day in hell. I think that was the name of that shit. Mm. Well, you got a he. Freddie Gibbs got a few projects, bro. This shit is just. Oh man, he got Black Thought on there. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Pusha T, him and Pusha. Yasin Bay. Crazy shit. He got Yasin Bay. Most um, definitely, y'all don't know. <laughs> Who else was on there with him? Not too many. It was just him and Mad Lib just going there. That's what man. he was saying too in the interview. He was like, I never thought that I'd work with these type of artists coming from Gary, Indiana. Like, I really like, he was like, I just don't know where I'm at. Send a shot at Jeezy who who had a project, got a project out that I, I'm not I'm not checking Young for. Young Jeezy? Yeah. Oh. 
I, first of all, is if I his fucking it. if his fucking album or whatever that is that's out says Young Jeezy, I'm definitely not pressing. No, nah, it says you. No, I was just like Jeezy. Uh, then I. I'm not listening to Jeezy no more. It's over, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's over. It's over. You listen to G Easy album? He dropped the album. I ain't listen to it. I don't mm-hmm. listen to him. I listen to Dreamville, Revenge of the Dreamers. Mm-hmm. What, you trying to get to something else before that? Get, yeah, I don't want to get to that right now. There's something else yeah. that's right? Yeah, it's cool. Um, oh, that was just a that was just a single. Rick Ross dropped another single. He about to drop Port of Miami too. That sounds like it's gonna be fire. Port of Miami. Hold on, let me just double check before we get into um, Dreamville. Uh, what was that? Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, three? you you disrespectful. Revenge, Revenge of the, of the Nerds Revenge of the Dreamers Three Two? Three. Three Three Yeah, I think that's where we should go right now um, You listen to uh, Mustard album? No I like his album too No, I ain't listen to Mustard shit Oh, BJ the Chicago Kid dropped something when the fuck was the last time you heard Bro. DJ the Chicago kid? Sorry, niggas is just not gonna get my time right now. Yeah, but I'm Mustard sorry. album is cool though. He got a couple tracks on there that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, we could get to. Um, yeah, we could Avenger. Son, Avenger the dream is still good. Let's hide this shit out right now. Hide this shit out right now. Classic. <laughs> What's I like, our voice? Yeah, man. I, yo, they got. They got nothing. But rappers on that team. Niggas so. got some good ass rappers over they there. They got nothing but rappers over there. I've been waiting to see like um or oh, waiting for this album. I like J.I.D. They, I don't call him Jid. I like J.I.D. They've been talking a lot of shit like over the past year. Like they ready to take niggas on, right? They, yeah, they want it with everybody. I see that. And when I when I heard them niggas talking crazy, I was like um, that nigga sure like don't make my son Cole look bad. You know what I'm saying? I knew uh, Jay was. How many was, tracks is on there? I think sixteen. Like sixteen tracks. The energy is uh, amazing. Eighteen. Eighteen. <clears throat> the energy on that shit is amazing. Almost every track. And I like that Cole don't got a lot of beats on there. Yeah. I like that. I like listening to him on different beats. You watch the documentary? Yeah, I, li- I watched the documentary first before I listened to the, to the album. I didn't. You know, I'll be one of you. We, me and you do, we do backwards. I work backwards. I li- you listen to albums, I watch interviews, you watch. Right. Yeah, that's how it goes. I don't like to be disappointed, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, it does, it does because the like documentary me, does give you an anticipation to Yes, it, it does. Because you're I, like, damn, this how they work? It's crazy. I was in it's fucking anticipating, cold in here, listening, <laughs> listening to the shit, and I had already listened to the shit for like four days, and I watched the documentary yesterday. Mm-hmm. I already been listening to it since Friday. It came out Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Yeah it came out on a Friday I'm like why am I hyped To get off Go on break And put this shit on now I guess To see how they did it And To know it's 10 yeah, now, days Yeah Cause you got The finished product That's what I love About now We get to see The process Before mm-hmm. We only saw The finished product mm-hmm. And then the star, you could barely see them. Yeah, niggas come out on their little Now it's a lot of access. Radio and, tour. And if you do it right, like J. Cole, you don't have to put yourself completely out there, but yeah. you could put it out there where it's interested enough for everybody to be like, damn, I want it, I want more, or I want to learn more about them. You know what I mean? Right. So I like that shit. Yeah, they... Um, that Project Fire. They went to work, bro. They went to Ten work. Ten days? Ten come days. On, um... But they did some Willy Wonka invite shit. Sent niggas Willy Wonka tickets. Mm-hmm. Producers and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, they get a round of applause. They get a round of applause. And they they um, executed that shit very well. Yeah. Very well. Because I didn't, like I said, I didn't watch the documentary first. So listening to it. What's the kid's name that we were saying sound like K-Dot? 
That's Jig. That's Jig, right? Yeah. All right. Because he be sounding different on different tracks. But, yeah. yeah. Son, I love J.I.D. I don't call him J.I.D. Wow. I'd rather a lot J-I-D. of people call him J.I.D. Yeah, a lot of people call him J.I.D. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he ready. He Man, ready. That little nigga's ready, he bro. He ready. He's super dope. I, super I had nice. people telling me about him. He got his own projects, too. Yeah, he do. Um, he got like two or three, I think. Damn, what's the name of his last shit? I was, just, I was listening to that a few weeks ago. Cause I knew this was coming out, mm-hmm. but I, um, you know, when I don't give people a chance sometimes, cause I'm, I'm in tune with something else. I be having some people that I, I count on, be like, yo, listen to this, and, like press, mm-hmm. easy. Mm-hmm. He told me, yo, you, you ain't hear Bandana yet. I'm like, I knew Freddie Gibbs was coming out with an album. I ain't know it dropped. Yeah. And went past <clears> me, so I, I was like, oh shit. He dropped the same day as Chris Brown. He's like, yeah, oh. he fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's a few people that tell me, yo, J.I.D., yo, Jib, man, Cole, you need to fuck with him. Your boy Cole, fuck with him. Yo, Cole, I'm like, that little right. is nice. Yeah, every, every time, he checked in on every Even track. Atlanta, right? Yeah. That little nigga nice. Yeah. He spit bars. A <laughs> track with him and T.I., I like that a lot, that ladies, ladies, ladies. Um, that, uh... I just said I was fucked up. I was just down, down bad. Mm-hmm. But all them, all most of these projects that came out, I, I would give a good grade because I, you know, we've been anticipating it. Now we got music. some fire ass fucking music. Because last right year now. was a great year for music, as we will repeat. 2018 was a great yeah. year for music. We got some dope music out. Because even people telling me uh, Tyler the Creator shit was hot, and it was good. I'm just not, you know. I'm not a fan of that music. No, I don't like that. But then he got shit on there where he's spitting, so that's cool. You know what I mean? But but that's what I'm saying. It was better than DJ. That's what I'm saying. Like I won't tell somebody, oh, it's trash. If you like it, if 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 a bunch of people like it and they fuck with it, somebody think it's hot. Yeah, it's just not for me. I went away from the now. If somebody I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? The artists I fuck with give me an album, and I'm like, bro. I don't like Now, you kid. know, <laughs> like Schoolboy Q. I'm like, bro. Yeah, we ain't, ain't really missed falling in love with Crash. Man, I took that shit off my download list. I don't even got it downloaded. <laughs> Might take it out of my collection. I'm not listening to this, bro. Yeah. It's not happening. You my man's, though. It's all good. Go back there. <laughs> I can go back to Oxymoron, bro. I still live off that. Yeah, I still live off that with him, too. Blank Face is cool. That one is cool, but... I go to Oxy. Yeah, I go to Oxy. That's the one. But, um... Yeah, Dream... Uh, Revenge of the Dream is three. Um, Luke. That's his name. Luke. That nigga's nice, too. Luke. Uh, Earth Gang niggas. I like their energy, bro. And they rap. But I remember we seen him, I, I just reminded you, that Ab Soul concert when we first seen Boz. Boz wasn't on a, a lot of tracks, too. He was on a few. I don't like Boz. You don't like Boz? Why? Not too much. Um, I'm just not a fan of his style, I guess. Or, I don't know. I'm not really too happy. I like Boz. I'm not a... I like Jid. I like J.I.D. My fault. Of course. I'm J. not J. a... Um, I was I, I like Boz more when we first discovered him. Yeah, like, we, like that first track that I heard him on. I mean, that probably wasn't his first shit, but the first track that I heard him on was him and J. Cole mm-hmm. off his project. Mm-hmm. And that shit was fire. Mm-hmm. But when I listened to the album, I was like... Yeah. That <laughs> album was like... His last and album And that's the like one that, that grabbed too, your bro. attention to be like, let me yeah. listen to him. And it was like, damn, yeah. it, was, it was decent, but it wasn't all yeah. right. And last, J. Cole bigs you up. Bro, his last album was like that not, too? No, it's worse than that. Oh, damn. I was, see? Trav was, because Trav fuck with him. Trav was like, yo, you don't like this shit? I'm like, no, bro. Yeah, I don't really like him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I don't just, I'm not just going to fuck with somebody because... He down I, with cold. Yeah, nah. I thought his last project was nah. Fuck that nigga. This shit is trash. Yeah, like everybody Sorry. can't be nice. Like. I'm not playing this. <laughs> I'm not. But um, I, I'm looking to see what's next for Jid, man, because the uh, the light is on him now. The kid is nice. Yeah, the kid is nice. The kid, the kid is, is nice. I like the uh, the um, Ari. Mm-hmm. They singing. Yeah. Like her voice. Yeah. 
Um, like music, music, and not nothing else. You can see them going at TDE though. You see, they have reason and cause and that shit yeah, going back. I can see them doing it, but nice I too. don't I see like TDE cause. going back at them. Yeah, the TD on some they whole They on some bougie shit right, shit right now Like, we rich Okay, I understand that you playing golf, my nigga But damn And then k Dye has been like 10 years Since this nigga dropped the album Damn it's it It's been like been 5 old. years, son <laughs> Since DM came so, out But when DM came out? Don't tell me it's been 5 years 3? I'll give you 3 16, son <laughs> Yeah, K-Dot. K-Dot be killing me with that, son. That's my man, too. I love that. Yo, that's my favorite rapper. <laughs> like this nah, thing. that ain't my favorite rapper. He be wildin' sometimes, son. Nah, he had the Black Panther jaw. <laughs> nah, nah. Damn. I don't count that. <laughs> this shit is... 2017. Two years. Damn. That's still a long time. April. <laughs> Go on, bro. He did the, he did the black. The black he the he, com, he composed the black. He did that <laughs> last year, bro. It's not playing. He had he had balls on, but he do be showing up on people's tracks. He he do show up on features and shit. But I need more K dot. That nigga got paid. That nigga bro. nice. I need more K dot. That nigga like niggas. Ain't but yeah, I could see them going at TDE, but I don't see T E T D E inter inter um. I don't see it. nobody else, bro. My other crew is there, nigga. The, uh, the Joey Badass and them Beast Coast, they could go at it. That'll be fire. They got spitters, nigga. Oh, boy. <laughs> Joey Badass will kill all the niggas. Dolo, fuck out of here. Uh, I, oh, that's what I want to talk about, ASAP don't too. really move see, together they, uh, too much. We got to talk about Flacco. Him man. and Free uh, Flacco. That, whoever that nigga is, Guap, Guap Dad, 400, nigga that's on the album. He was on the Dreamville shit. Yeah. He was on a few tracks. Slim, that dude, Slim 400, got shot over 10 he times. He got rockers. Yo. <laughs> boom. Boom. Bullet, bullet. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. We do not make light of people getting shot and all that shit, but over 10 times, damn, what is what was the person thinking? I kept saying he need to relax a long time Well, ago. this is all music related as well. That happened. Um, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk about that shit because I don't know if you've seen that. The niggas on that Dreamville shit, like two tracks. So somebody said on Twitter on some shit like, yo, how Benny ain't make the album, but this nigga did. Mm-hmm. And son said, um, I guess they should have went harder or some shit like that. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm, the, nigga ni- I'm the reason that them <laughs> niggas trying to spit it harder. <laughs> you Benny, crazy? Nigga, Benny responded and said, yo, who, who go harder than Griselda, nigga? I don't know. Niggas better stop playing. Nigga retracted the statement. He said, no, I wasn't saying that. I was just saying, you know, I don't know who was in charge. <laughs> Arranging the tracks, man. Maybe they ain't go hard. Shut up, nigga. You want to smoke? The little Nas X kid came out. Cool. You want yeah, to ride next. his horse. <laughs> next. <laughs> um, uh, you just said something. ASAP Rocky. Yeah, Let's man. get into this real quick. We about to um, we about to finish this episode. Soon. It's nasty for him, bro. Yeah. So they was in. I guess they was doing their tour and shit. They was in Sweden. I guess it was just him, Dolo though. So he had his team with him, his security or whatever the people he had with him. Uh, they walk in the streets, and I believe it's like two Sweden do whatever. They white skin, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> God damn. It's son. It's like they fucking harassing him. Like I. I think they got their picture or their autograph or whatever already. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They got their thing off or whatever. Pause. Yeah, pause. Whatever. They got oh. their rocks off. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we got our shit off. <laughs> but now you just, like, walking behind my crew. You just talking to the females that's with us. You know what I'm saying? One of the females said that they gro- that they grabbed them or whatever the case is. So now it's like, all right, y'all doing a lot. But you see that we recording this, too. So they telling them chill and all that. You know what I mean? So it got, just got to the boiling point. ASAP, he popped off first. Like, he grabbed son, tossed him around, started punching him. 
and then his team jumped on him and they beat his ass but that's the story of that and now he's been in the Swedish jail for like more than two weeks now and, and they be t- they talking about that it's like the conditions are very like niggas making it yeah. sound like he in the fucking cave yeah it sound like chained to a wall nigga taking the shit on the wall no toilet here what you think this is but go. you know they and you know countries like that honestly they are trying to like they will make an example out of American ass. You know what I'm saying? You're American, nigga. And you black? Oh, man. And you from New York? And you decide... Oh, and you a rapper. And yeah, you rap. Oh, you a inter- You think you big. You think you, you famous. You just gonna come in and do that shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but if you in inhumane conditions and all that, we from America, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't... All that other shit, we don't know what that is. Really? Yes, we're privileged, my nigga. Fuck out of here. Oh, nigga. You wildin'. Nigga said the water not drinkable. That's why dickhead... What's this number of president? 45? Dickhead need to go and do his fucking presidential duties and get my man up out of there. They said that... Um the representative from the consulate came to the jail and they, they told that nigga no. Mm, we won't. Because we not, it's not supposed to happen. Remember I told you? That's not supposed to happen, bro. We're supposed to immediately contact the U.S. Embassy and consulate and representative is supposed to come on, get yeah. us out and we're going to figure out what the fuck is going to happen. He didn't kill nobody. Yeah, he just you know fought. So he just beat somebody's ass. We're not, want, doing this. Yeah, We're like, not doing this. Yeah, give him a fine. Sorry, but to be man. in a in- ban him, ban him, ban him from your country, and then uh, he's gonna go home. Yeah, yeah, pretty like much. That. <laughs> pretty that's much. It. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I can't keep him locked up. Like that's crazy. Son. You trying to go to war, nigga? Now you trying to start something? Huh? You trying to go Sweden? to Sweden? This is what you want to do? Yeah, man. Free Flacco, man. Free my boy ASAP Rocky, man. That's that nigga. But, um... I said it must be because the nigga got caught. You say he's with the security, right? Yeah. They was popping, too. But why he the first one to pop, bro? I don't know. He shouldn't be popping at all. You right. It's supposed to be a call. He from Harlem, too. It's supposed to be... Ooh, 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 ooh. See you. Squirrelly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, but he shouldn't even be jumping in that boy, especially with some white boys, probably some skinny ass white boys, with little t shirts on. Mm-hmm. He ain't what you touching them for. Yep, let your man wash them up. That's what they there for. Yeah, oh. man. So we, you know, we had to talk on that because free ASAP. This is this is our culture that we in, and this is. It's just like oh, I hate talking about the like the cops and authority like that, police figures and shit like that. Cause nah, these niggas out here wilding. You see that video when they the, the two cops was on that nigga beating him up, and then he shot him, and then they shot him. And you, what you was doing, bro? Why y'all so always why make it seem like we doing but, but something? But when you let it off, he said, "I told you, chill, motherfucker." Then you look and you realize what you do. He was like, oh, what were you doing? Man, get and out they, of here. Yeah, there bro. was another bro, one. Bro, my homegirl showed you me. Like that. Yeah. Why do they... Sh- Sad, son. Sad. We got to deal with shit like this and then we got to I think go. that happened in the Bronx. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't Except even see like, that shit on the news, bro. Let's test this area like Yonkers. You seen it on the news? Nah, I saw it on the phone. On the phone, right? Somebody showed it. <laughs> see how crazy that is? Yeah, it's not how it used to yeah, be, bro. Yeah, they're not going. They don't show the police people being like the police killing people and shit no more. Now it's on these type of phones and shit like that. Uh, but you gonna not. hear about that girl that got stabbed on the train? You gonna hear you that on the news? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I work. I work video, in that area. Right? Yeah, I had to go to work that night. Matter of fact, and it was like they had to skip the stop. I was like, damn. So I got off on the, the next stop, next stop and, walk and walked up, and I was like, damn, it was mad cops up there and shit. But I think I think they lived in my bit in that. I don't know, I don't bro. Know what I'm that, but. I, you watched the video? Yeah, that shit was sad. Cause then she sprayed her with mace first, and then did what she did. That was ugly, man. I see her stabbing her face. 
That's ugly. And then for the, the but how you thirty they, years old getting into a twenty year old like that? What happened? Who knows what happened on that train? Yeah, you right. Who knows what happened? Hopefully it wasn't. Cause like I called myself like that this morning, right? I was on the bus and my bag kept hitting this elderly lady, but she got loud. She like, yo, your bag is hitting me. I turned around. I said, yo, you, you okay? She like, your bag is hitting me. I said, the bus is full. So why you da da da? She just started going in. I said, yo, your breath stink, bro. <laughs> it's mad early. Your okay. breath stink. Everybody in here trying to either coming from work or going to work. Why are you it's so loud? You it's okay? You know what I mean? But then we don't know. It was probably a different discussion with that. You know what I mean? But it probably started with something as small as why you bumped into me. Yeah. But I got an attitude because I'm getting off work and whatever happened, it happened. Mm-hmm. Or I got to go to work and whatever. That's why when we when paths cross sometimes and you don't know this person, sometimes we don't think on shit. We just do what we do. But sometimes you should stop and be like... Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's why now, now I be like a lot of shit niggas step step on my sneakers. Niggas step on my pumas all the time, the fucking white net be getting dirty, I gotta clean the shit. I don't say nothing, bro. I'll be like, yo, you good. And they turn around like my phone, my phone. Yeah, I'll be like, no, that's all right, you good. I don't even care about that. <laughs> Cause I'm fuck, not going bro. to jail for thirty years. Yeah, you Nah, shit ain't worth it, bro. Yeah. Shit ain't worth it. So at all. But we I got to wrap I this gotta up. Com- I got to compose myself when I'm walking with, with, with tips sometimes. Yeah. Because niggas be wilding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the blade. The blade's still in the pocket, but this is what I'm saying. Yeah. You never know what anybody is on, so I'll be like, just got to leave that shit alone, bro. Positive thoughts bring positive vibes, all right? We yeah, gotta keep man. positive vibes around us and just keep doing what we're doing. That's why I want to do what I want to do tomorrow and just, you know what I mean? Enjoy the time that we have with the people that we want to enjoy the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, weather permitted. So, yeah, hopefully that Mother go Nature down. always trying to shit on us. Yeah, but we about to wrap this one up, man, because we we on overtime right now. Cause I ain't have a mic. We was in that <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> We about to drop another one for y'all too, man, tonight. But we about to get up out of here. Y'all already know what it is. Yo. For Don Cole, it's D-Reek and Hippie. Y'all already know what we about to do. We out of here. Close the show.